Hi creative friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ella. So today is our watercolor tutorial food illustration episode number 8. We will paint this honey jar together. So before we jump into the painting part, um, let's study the picture a little bit. And um, if you're not interested in this part, please check out my time code in the description box below and you can jump into the steps you're interested. So there are three steps in this painting. Step one is we will paint the, this jar. Step two, wand. And step three is the background with some flower on the side. Um, so for the uh, step one, I would like to separate the whole picture into three or uh, four parts the jar into four parts so this is section one section two and the honeycomb section three and the rest of this part on the right hand side is section four so when we observe the picture the light is coming from the light right hand side on the top that's why the highlight is on the top. Same here, the one highlight is on the very top side. And um, medium tone is in the middle and darkest tone is um, underneath. Um, so for this jar, every section has its uh, light, medium, and dark tone. Light tone. So on the section one, the lightest tone is on the top, medium, medium in the middle, and uh, the dark down here the section two uh, because of the light is go through the the honey uh, it reflects on here the lightest part is here we have to leave this part completely white medium and dark for the honey uh, comb part it's a little bit more complicated because each section it has uh, highlights medium and dark so for this part, we will not paint so much detail. We will just paint the first wash, lightest tone, and then medium tone, and add some highlights. I mean, darken some shadow here. And the highlights, like the this part, I will add um, on the final step by some white paint. Okay, so on section four, leave this completely section, especially this part, completely white, and a little, a little bit medium. A little bit yellow and a little bit dark brown so this is how we're gonna paint this picture let's get started now the supplies I'm using for this tutorial will be listed in the description box please check it out Here we go, section one. So instead of um, step by step, this time I decided to separate the whole picture, the main picture, into four sections. And each section we will do first wash, second wash, and add on some details. So this is the first wash for the section one, the top part of the jar. Now we are moving on to section two, uh, which is the first wash for the left side of the jar. Um, this is the first layer and I already decided to add some darker sienna color on the left hand side. So here we go, this is section three. Um, on the section three on the picture, the uh, honeycomb has more color more orange color in the middle so after the first wash i applied another layer of water to um, add on more details of this little holes Now I'm moving on to second wash, especially for the middle part to add on more orange color and some shadows.
Sorry for the honey one part. I thought I took the video, but uh, the camera was out of battery and I didn't realize it, so it's missing. But uh, the theory for the one is exactly same for the jar. I like the combination of purple uh, with a honey color or a little bit brownish orange color. Um, that's why I decided to add some flowers which is not even on the reference picture, but the color is what I like. I use the heat gun to dry uh, the first layer and um, add on more details to have a little more uh, shadow but this part of the flower is quite loose it has no much uh, details at all later on I will add some shadows to indicate the light is coming from the uh, right and top side For this picture, I uh, decide to add on background later on. Um, it's definitely a personal preference. You can add on background first and then leave the main parts blank once you finish the background um, and come back to the major part. It really doesn't matter. As I mentioned, the last step is to add on some highlights and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you think this uh, tutorial is helpful for you, please feel free to subscribe or give me a thumbs up or leave your comments. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much and see you next Saturday. Bye bye.